What is up YouTube? I am Dead Guy Cardboard and I am back with some actual Dead Guy Cardboard. I just picked this up in the mail. Uh, it's the 1932 US Caramel Paul Wainer. I got this with the 15% off eBay special. It was still kind of overpriced, but I'm, I'm happy to pick this up because A, it's uh, in the PSA registry set for the 3000 Hit Club. This is the Paul Wainer card you need to get in that set. Uh, B, I'm happy to pick this up because it's a very tough card to get. It's a scarce set. And uh, quite honestly, I I'm surprised that whoever uh, put together the PSA registry set for the 3000 Hit Club included this card in the set um, because Wainer has some other cards from other popular sets like the 33 Gaudi and 34 Gaudi. Uh, he has a couple cards earlier than this. Uh, and this, this, like I said, this set is difficult. Um, it is difficult because it was a region, regionally issued set. Um, it was mostly distributed in Boston, uh, parts of New England, and um, also in I guess parts of the East Coast, but for the most part, it was a very regional card issue in uh, Massachusetts, and uh, because of that, not a lot of these cards exist. Uh, there's, a, I think, there's less than 90 cards in the combined pop reports of SEC and PSA. I'm sure there's some crossovers in there, and you don't see these pop up very often because, like I said, there's only about 90 out there that have been graded. And this card stays in people's collections because they want to keep it for the 3000 uh, Hit Club PSA registry set. So I'm um, very happy to pick this up. Um, you only see literally like one or one, one a year on eBay, if that. And I know this is kind of on a, a high bin for a while on eBay, so I decided to pick it up, even though it has um, this crease on it. But uh, with the discount, I figured, uh, what the heck. Um, it's really, I love the look of this set. It, it, it looks a lot like the 1914-1915 Cracker Jack set because of the red border. Um, all the cards from this set have a red border, or red background, I mean. And um, it's also kind of cool, too, because all the players have their nickname in the name. So Paul Wainer's nickname was Big Poison. And uh, his brother Lloyd Wainer is also in this set, and his nickname is Little Poison. And... Um, the dimensions look a lot actually like a like 1933 Gaudi set because it has like the back bio looks a lot like a Gaudi card. Um, and this came out in 1932 before Gaudi. However, some people think this actually came out in 1933. Um, I forget why. I think because some player had a bio st stat that indicated that this might have come out in 1933, 1930, not 1932. Um, but this is actually a kind of a significant set too because it's one of the the last caramel sets before uh, the Gaudi baseball cards really blew up because this is you know right after the set came out the 1933 Gaudi gum set came out and we know kind of the rest is history with with uh, bubble gum baseball cards so you can you can even see some caramel staining in this card um, also just some something pretty interesting about this set. Um, I'll read the bottom of, of, of it. It says, this is one of a series of 32 pictures of famous athletes numbered from 1 to 32. Return a complete set and receive a league baseball valued at $1. Or return three complete sets and receive a fielder's glove valued at $3. Um, however, um, it was found out that there's one card that's nearly impossible to get to complete the set. In fact, it's so hard to find, it was so hard to get for kids, that uh, the card that was almost impossible to find, and you know, people were trying to complete the sets throughout the years, they couldn't find one card, and it was finally discovered, I think in the late 80s, early 90s, and um, it was the Charles Lindstrom card. Not sure what number it was in the set, but uh, yeah, only about, I think, two or three exists in the world right now. And um, it was basically a way for U.S. Caramel to kind of screw kids over. They, they sort of rigged the system because it made it nearly impossible for kids to actually complete the set to receive their baseball. And I think virtually impossible for them to ever complete three sets to, to receive a fielder's glove. 
So uh, it's kind of a lot like the uh, the Gaudi set from 1933, where it, the Napoleon Lajoie card was basically non-existent. Um, you have to wonder if maybe they they, uh, they took that idea from 1933 1932 US Caramel set. Um, so anyway, that Charles Lindstrom card is a very valuable card, one of the hardest cards to find in the hobby. And uh, I, I'm thinking about putting a, a list together of the cards you're not supposed to have, and Charles Lindstrom, 1932 U.S. Caramel Charles Lindstrom card will definitely be on that list. Um, but happy to pick this card up, and um, I, I highly recommend picking up a card from this set. Um, they're tough to find, not always the cheapest cards. There's a ton of Hall of Famers. Uh, there's Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, uh, you name it. Um, a lot of the players from 1933 Gaudi set, the Hall of Famers are in this set. There's also a few golfers, I think maybe even a, some boxers. Um, so it's a multi-sport set, but it's, it's, it's mostly uh, filled with baseball players. Uh, 32 of them. Well, I think there's like 28, and the rest are uh, from different sports. But anyway, thanks for watching.